going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fandoms Anonymous. We are here today to talk about Justice League and its apparent flop at the box office. But I went and did some research before I started before I start calling the DCEU a complete failure. Um, of course, we know Justice League has brought in an unthinkable low amount. And out of all of the DCEU movies, let's just go ahead and take a look at this visually real quick. We got Wonder Woman, which came in at 103 million, which came out this year. Suicide Squad last year came out with 135 million. Batman v Superman came out with 166 million in its weekend debut. Man of Steel came in at 116, and Justice League has come in at 96 million. Now I know everybody's thinking Wonder Woman was such a huge success. Everybody loved Wonder Woman. This was a turnaround for the DCUU. I was totally with you all. Now, of course, I've been known to be called many names. DC, Mr. DC Petty, I'm a DC hater, this, this, and this, but I know when I don't see something that's together, it's it's there, It's it was obvious, and it's obvious by this number here with Justice League, people have gone through four movies, although they love Wonder Woman, they've been, apparently the numbers show that they are not totally in with the DCEU. Now, did I enjoy the movie? Yes. Did I love the movie? Yes. Did it give me things that I was looking for? Yes. Uh, did it give me things that I did not think that I would see? Yes. So overall, that's about five or six yeses, however many it was. I enjoyed Justice League. But the fans didn't. The critics didn't. And there were, of course, some people who didn't agree with it. Now, what the way I feel about Justice League is, it is the start to doing something greater. But the only downside to that is the people at Warner Brothers are probably now scared, which means they're going to probably reboot all of this, which is not a good idea. I say continue to move forward, Warner Brothers, and continue to build off of this, even though it's not much to build off on and you spent a lot of money on reshoots and things of that nature. But continue to build on it because one thing that critics are saying and fans are saying is wasn't all that great but it's the beginning and the start of something to be better and i totally see that but again the people are not agreeing with that but before we move forward i want to show you something because we know the mcu right now is the powerhouse hitting big numbers every single weekend that it comes out you know thor came out Break of breaking numbers, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Spider Man Homecoming, all of the movies that we've had. But one must also go book, go back and research. I have to humble myself and go back and research. And let's take a comparison look at the first five movies of the MCU versus the first five movies of the DCEU. You're probably going to be surprised. So we got Iron Man, first movie of the MCU, coming in at 98 million. Let's look over at the first movie of the DCEU, Man of Steel, 116 million. Second movie of the MCU, The Incredible Hulk, came in at $55 million. Second movie of the DCEU, Batman v Superman, $166 million. Number three, Iron Man 2, came in at $128 million. Third movie of the DCEU, Suicide Squad, $135 million. And last, number five, Captain America, First Avenger. And number five for the DC, Justice League coming at 96 million. So let's just look at it for what it is. The facts are there. The numbers are there. The DCEU, first five, beat out, royally beat out the first five of the MCU. But what happened? What took place? If we go back to this first five movies of the MCU, this was during the years of 2008 to 2012 with Captain America being Captain America no 2011 actually this was over a 8 9 10 11 3 to 4 year period span with movies all right when we look at the DCEU these movies are spread out Man of Steel came out in 12 Batman v Superman Suicide Squad came out 4 years later in 16 a year later Wonder Woman and Justice League came out so these movies are spread out you saw uh, you see a gradual increase with the DCEU, but you see a steady up and down with the MCU in their first five. Again, if we go back in time, 2008 to 2011 was a period of time where people weren't so keen on comic book movies. The MCU started this new birth of comic book movies where people were like, OK, superheroes in, in the theater now. You know, before that, what do we have? All those X-Men movies. 
Uh, we had the Fantastic Four movies. We had that first Incredible Hulk. So I can understand why the Incredible Hulk of the MCU didn't do good because people were ticked off from five years before with that 2003 Ang Lee Incredible Hulk. Well, yeah, you guys remember that. So, again, we have to look at these numbers because they are fact. These are facts. These are actual numbers compared side by side of showing the difference between the first five of the MCU and the first five of the DCEU on what they did when they came out and who they were as a whole. So I'm not and I'm not arguing against this. I don't have any other theories. I don't have because these are just I can't go against facts. I can't go against the truth of what it actually is and what we see with our own eyes. But that still doesn't mean so well for the DCEU because now we're at the DCEU Marvel movie started in 2012 with Man of Steel and they're on right now five years later, 2017. Marvel has built these movies up since 2008. So I truly believe that we need to give the DCEU the same opportunity because at the end of the day, their first five outperformed Marvel's first five. But Marvel continued to build over those years. So now we're reaching 2018 we're hitting year number 10, and year number 10, we're getting Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, and Ant-Man 2, Ant-Man and the Wops, okay? So we already know those movies, those movies are going to be mega blockbusters. Why? Because the MCU has built a, what's the word I'm looking for? They've built a repertoire, in a sense. They, they've built that standing with the audience to know, okay, let's, let's hone in on this. Let's give them their chance. Let's let them put their movies out. Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, what else came out this year? Thor Ragnarok, big blockbuster successes for, for Marvel. Thor Ragnarok in its third or fourth week, I believe, is already at $700 million worldwide. Um, Justice League is right at $185 million worldwide just in the first week well, over, overseas. It made a lot of money overseas, but here in the States, where the movies are made, it's, it's not pulling too well. So what do I get out of all of this? What I get out of all of this? is give them their chance. Give the DCEU a chance because apparently Marvel was given a big chance, but Marvel didn't give up. They had a staff who said, you know what? These are our movies. We're putting them out. We have something to build off of this. We have something that's going to come of this. And look where we are almost 10 years later with the MCU. About to hit this mega big blockbuster. They're breaking down barriers and stereotypes, casting roles, plenty of diversity. They've built a pantheon of greatness but listen to that keyword built they had to build that you know and i feel like the dceu can do the same and i feel like justice league i feel like wonder woman then justice league was that opportunity and that example that the dceu can build and will build to be better and i'm in totally in agreement with that so i want to know what you all think about this these numbers these facts that i put out there what is dc, DC going to do now what I feel like, I hope they don't do what I think they're going to do, which is just say, oh, forget all of this and we're going to redo everything and start over from scratch. I say, hold on to what you got. Move forward. Take your loss. Because apparently the MCU has some losses. If we're looking at these first five compared to DC's first five. Take your loss and keep going and build. Because 10 years later, the MCU is a powerhouse. Who knows 10 years later, 10th year for the DCEU would be 2022. Who knows what can happen in 2022 with your movies, DC? So don't give up. Keep your head up. I want to know, again, what do you guys think about these numbers and these facts of these movies? Let me know in the comments below whether you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching this on Facebook. Let's talk about this. This is this is These are the facts. These are the numbers. We'll see you guys in another video.